if you are industrial engineer or if you want to become industrial engineer then this video is for you uh, because uh, in this video i will teach you the six things that you should know about industrial engineering in this video would be very valuable and would be very important for you uh, for the industrial engineering related jobs for the interviews etc okay so watch this video completely to learn these six things that you should know about industrial engineering the first thing that you should know about industrial engineering is that industrial engineering is a derivative of mechanical engineering. The industrial engineering has a long history but you should know that actually industrial engineering is a derivative of mechanical engineering. There are more than 40%, 30% subjects that are keep in the industrial engineering and these are actually from the mechanical engineering. Okay, The father of industrial engineering who pioneered this science in the modern history was mechanical engineering. The first industrial engineering program in the world is fraction of mechanical engineering as well. Therefore, it is not strange that many current industrial engineering courses are in the same department with mechanical engineering. The only, the only thing they differentiate between the mechanical and industrial engineering is the management. There are certain subjects that are studying uh, uh, um, by these are studying by the industrial engineer uh, related to the management but mechanical engineer mainly focus on the manufacturing and design related okay the second thing that you should know about industrial engineering is that industrial engineering is not a basic engineering uh, but in inter interdisciplinary engineering interdisciplinary mean that it involves many disciplines in science okay and the basic engineering are like civil engineering chemical engineering mechanical engineering okay so industrial engineering is uh, usually located in the same faculty with mechanical engineering chemical engineering etc there are some subjects related to mechanical engineering that keep in the industrial engineering there are some subjects related to the chemical engineering that are studying in the uh, industrial engineering but you should know that they different from the mechanical engineering chemical engineering civil engineering and electrical engineering that is basic engineering industrial engineering is interdisciplinary engineering you should know the difference that how this is different and what is the difference between the industrial engineering and other disciplines and how they differentiate okay so this means that interdisciplinary engineering it it means that uh, it involves many science and disciplines these science may be like uh, these science include mathematics and physics uh, physiology and even social science such as psychology okay so another example of interdisciplinary engineering field are biological engineering nuclear engineering petroleum engineering agricultural engineering and so on so these all are the uh, these all are interdisciplinary engineering it involves many disciplines in science okay but civil engineering chemical engineering or the basic engineering and uh, like uh, these are the basic engineering the third thing that you should know about industrial engineering is that industrial engineering involves many principles of management but only the scientific management okay it involves many principles of uh, uh, of management it mainly focus on the management uh, and uh, also focus on the manufacturing related area uh, we would discuss later slides industrial industrial engineering is widely known as blend between engineering and management this is the blend between engineering and management because like uh, industrial industrial engineers mainly focus on the tools and the problems related to the engineering and they solve the problem using the management techniques uh, that's why it is the blend between engineering and management okay industrial engineer in, in engineering indeed involve many principles of management but you should know that management in industrial engineering is only the scientific management okay so so in addition to the management industrial engineering is also studying other social science such as uh, psychology uh, however same is management psychology that is used is only a psychological approach that accept the scientific method this is cognitive psychology so in conclusion although this science involves social science industrial engineering is still scientific at all okay so there are some principles of management that you should know uh, if you want to become industrial engineer or if you are industrial engineer 
The fourth thing about the industrial engineering is that industrial engineering is not only for manufacturing. So is uh, industrial engineer evolved from the Toyota industry. So it doesn't mean that Toyota was the manufacturing industry. So the industrial engineers mainly focus is on the in manufacturing. It's not true. But industrial engineering often use the manufacturing industries as a model. One reason is because industrial engineering is uh, much oriented to the Toyota. But you should know that the industrial engineering is not only for the manufacturing industry. This knowledge can be applied across all type of industries ranging from the mining industry, oil and gas industries, transportation industries, service industries and so on. Actually industrial engineering can also be applied in uh, any system whether it is industrial or not. Okay, So it may be hospital or other service industry that uh, industrial engineer can get a job in there. Okay? Therefore this field is uh, also often referred to a systematic engineering. Okay, So manufacturing system is most often used as a model system because this system is most concrete, visible in polymer. Okay? So it means that industrial engineer uh, not only focus on manufacturing industries but also they can go for the service and uh, also the area which is not industrial okay like hospital like bank they can get a job in there. The fifth thing about industrial engineering is that industrial engineer is one of the engineers with the highest salary and throughout the world like in US and UK uh, the industrial engineer have the highest salary okay so in uh, Australia they have the highest salary and this field is growing okay because this field is interdisciplinary field not a basic field it involves many disciplines and that is the reason that it is growing and ultimately the salary is increasing are you curious about the educational background that has the bright prospect yes uh, you should know that industrial engineering is one of them according to the surveys in some countries industrial engineering graduate is one who has the highest salary like uh, in america in uh, uk the in industrial engineers have the highest salary the sixth thing about industrial engineering is that industrial engineering is a field of engineering with the most extensive job opportunity okay so uh, it uh, it is interdisciplinary field you can get a job in a service industries in a manufacturing industries in uh, in like oil and gas industries Okay, so many people are curious about uh, what kind of work suitable for the industrial engineer. You should know that industrial engineering is a field of engineering with most extensive job opportunities. Many industrial engineering graduate become professional in industry, consultant, researcher, lecturer, and even entrepreneur. Considering industrial engineer is known for the best sense of business among the engineers because the management uh, teaching management to the industrial engineer can lead them to become an entrepreneur businessman etc industrial engineers can work in all type of industries such as manufacturing mining oil and gas construction and even service services in a construction they can provide the service in the project management in a work scheduling etc so these are the some of the six things that you should know about industrial engineering engineering and i hope you uh, learned something from my video and if you learn something make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel